Hey guys, welcome back. It's Bob. Uh, today we're going to go over how you remove a broken piece of pipe. Now, more often than not, you're well intentioned and you go to unscrew the piece of pipe with your pipe wrench and it generally comes out. But a lot of times it doesn't come out and you keep forcing it and the next thing you know, the pipe breaks. You end up with a broken piece of pipe in the fitting. What do you do? Now, before I go on, I just want to preface that I'm showing you this demonstration on black pipe, black iron pipe, which this does happen with, but the case is that on brass water pipe is where you're going to find this most commonly. Brass gets brittle, brass is soft, and over time uh, it just gets weak. Depending upon how old the brass is, whether it's yellow brass, red brass, uh, you put your wrench on there and you're already to unscrew the piece and the next thing you know, you break the piece off. So I just want to make you aware of that. It doesn't happen as often on black pipe, but it does. And when it does, what do you do? Well, you look at it and you say, how am I going to get that piece out of there? On smaller diameter pipes, such as what you're looking at here, this is half inch, three eight, half inch, three quarter. I use a tool called an easy out. They also go by the name of nipple extractors. And I just want to bring this one up here in front of you. This one here is for a 3 8 inch size uh, nipple or piece of pipe. They come uh, numbered. Uh, this particular one here has a number 6 designation. And that particular company says their number 6 extractor is for 3 8 pipe. Now I also have a preferred set of extractors that I use made by a company called Walton. And you can buy them in sets anywhere from one eighth up to inch and a half. But my kit here is goes from one eighth up to three quarter inch. And in this case here, we're using half inch pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my half inch extractor, which uh, according to Walton, their designation for a half inch is a number four. And simply what you would do, uh, these are twisted in such a way that when you go counterclockwise, they'll actually, these little... Um, spirals will, will latch onto the inside of the piece of pipe, thereby grabbing it. And what I like to do to start, and again, on brass pipe, these are more likely to grab because the brass is soft and this, those spirals will just go right in there. But on black pipe, I'm going to give this a, a tap, and generally, that should be enough to get the piece out as you can see and it's actually I'm going to take this out I'll bring it up to the camera for you so this latches onto the inside of the pipe and what happens is this is what happens guys it actually will grab that broken piece and you can extract it it's that simple and simply to get these off you would go clockwise and they'll loosen themselves and there you go, guys. So now I have retrieved the broken piece that was in the fitting. And it's all done by use of these easy outs or nipple extractors, if you will. Again, there are different companies out there that make these tools. Um, and, and they all generally work. I will say that I use them predominantly on uh, half inch and three quarter inch, um, even up to one inch most times. Anything bigger than one inch, I'll actually cut it out with a hacksaw blade. And that I'll demonstrate for you in another video. But I just wanted to make you aware that these extractors do exist. Um, they come in different flavors, if you will, from different companies. And, you know, if you find yourself in a situation, you might want to invest in one if you're going to be doing this. Again, I, 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 I have a kit here that goes from uh, one eighth up to three quarter. And for me, this does the trick 90% of the time. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free, email me, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.